situation right now in Cairo as we bring into this conversation someone uh, we have wanted to hear from for quite a while now. His name is Steve Klein. He is one of the consultants, we understand, associated with the film, the trailer. We'll get to that in a moment. Innocence of Muslims, the controversial film sparking protests across the Middle East. Uh, Steve, are you there? Are you on the line with me? Yeah, I'm here. Happy to be on with you. Thank you very much. Okay, Steve, so let's take our time and let's work through a number of issues associated first with this, uh, this film. First of all, let me clear that up. What are we talking about here? Has a full film been made, uh, named, entitled Innocence of Muslims? And if you would, can you tell us what that film is about? That's a great question. Um, the film has kind of evolved and changed. I've been on the outside of the actual filmmaking. My uh, initial contact with the maker of the film, he called me up because I have a lot of experience with the First Amendment on how you can do speech in the United States, what's permissible, what's not. He was frankly terrified that if he made this movie, he would be arrested. So he found out about me. I met with him in Southern California, and I assured him under the laws of the United States, the First Amendment, that he had a complete right to do the movie and that that was his decision, whatever he wanted to do. And then he asked me, because his English was not that good, if he needed help speaking with anybody, if I would be his spokesman, to which I said, sure, I'll be happy to do that. All right, so let's take it apart, uh, go a step further here. Who is the filmmaker? The only name that he gave to me, which I knew at the time was not his name, he identified himself as Sam Bastille, and I still do not know his real name. I have met him face-to-face -face twice. And what was, what continues to be, to the extent that you were still involved in this film, what was your involvement in the film? I had nothing at all to do with the film as far as production. I did not help with casting of characters and things of that nature. I did read over the script. He wanted help with the English. And I did look at the things that he had cited from the uh, Quran and the Sunnah and the Hadith and whatnot. I said, okay, that all looks legitimate to me. And I said to him, it appears that you have all the facts, the evidence and the proof there so that you're good to go as far as that angle of the movie. And I had, from there I was done, okay? Steve, um, you read the script. Um, how would you describe the script? What was the tone and tenor of the material? I would say that the tone and the tenor of the material is exactly spot on. It is absolutely correct. It is fact, evidence, and proof of what Muhammad did. What, what, is, what does that mean? Give me specifics. We've just seen, some of us have seen bits and pieces of, of a trailer, and the trailer depicts him as being a womanizer, uh, being yes. a, a, a pedophile. Um, yes. You're saying yes. That's correct. What do you mean when you say that is correct? According to the Sunnah and the Hadith and the Sirah and the Quran, that is absolutely correct. So you're saying to me that you agree with the script and the depictions of the Prophet Muhammad uh, laid Absolutely. out in the script as you read it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you stand by the depictions in the trailer? Yes, and I've had bomb threats against me and everything, and as I have told in multiple interviewers and reporters yesterday, I will not back down, death threats or whatever, I've had them before, I will not back down. And frankly, that's one of the reasons why we made the movie, was to find out when offensive speech is perceived by others, why is it that this small fraction of people who murdered the ambassador in Libya, which, by the way, is not my fault, the fault lies at Hillary Clinton, because she's the... Uh, Secretary of State and her job, her wait, number wait, one job is to protect... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang, no, hang on a second, gonna, Steve. No, 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 Steve, no, before no, you go no, off no, on rants no, here... No, I will hang up. I will hang up. I will hang up. 
I am operating off of facts, evidence, and proof. And if you want me to speak, you're going to have to allow me to speak. I am not ranting. I'm using facts, evidence, and proof. If you want to terminate at this time, we can terminate. So what is it, how is it that Hillary Clinton is responsible for the death of, of this ambassador? Of course. Of course. Of course? Do you understand American, you understand American law? So what, what, what kind of a conversation do you really want to have with me? Do you want to, do you want to hurl a accusations back and forth? I'm asking you about what your role in this film. What accusations I'm, have I made? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, you about your involvement in this film. And I came back. Do I understand I free speech in America? Point. Of course I do. Okay, very good. And under that paradigm, our ambassadors, when people like me, uh, are involved in movies of this nature, and when other people go out and wantonly, recklessly murder ambassadors, it is the job of Hillary Clinton to have the United States Marines there to protect that ambassador. For example, in Egypt, the Marines indeed were there at the embassy, and they did stop those folks from coming in to injure and kill those people. In Libya, that did not happen. So that is dereliction of duty. And that is gross negligence on the part of President Obama and Secretary okay, so of State Hillary Clinton. I, if, let me now, can I, can I ask a question? If Hillary Clinton, give me 20 seconds. If Hillary Clinton had protected the ambassador, which was her job, he would not have been injured or killed. This would be a non-story. Nobody would care. Okay, thank you. Have, have, you, have you watched the finished product? It's pretty pathetic from the point of view of acting and dubs and things of that nature. I believe it is 100% accurate. I believe it's 100% facts, evidence, and proof on what Muhammad did. My question to you was the script you provided or that was provided to actors. Was yes, that, was I, that I the script, was. That, was that the acting, was that the script that was made into this film, or was there dubbing of dialogue after the film was made? Okay, that's a very good question. I believe the script was used, and then when I watched the trailer, it was obvious to my untrained eye that there had been dubbing. I had nothing to do with that, and... So I don't know why you're asking me that question. Well, I, I'm trying to get at why the, the dubbing was done. I'm trying to I understand. I'm trying to understand. Did, did you purposely set out to make a provocative film, an anti-Islam film? Supposed to be provocative. Did you set out to make an anti-Islam film? Islam, by its nature, is anti-First Amendment, and it is uh, once again when you talk with people and we dialogue with people in the United States under the First Amendment. Speech is offensive. A dialogue can turn into an argument. An argument by its nature is offensive. The First Amendment exists to protect both parties as they speak, one offending the other, trying to be reasonable, trying to convince the other party. And what, we, what he did in that movie, and which I agree with, is we went after a very small fraction of people in Islam, the people who follow Osama bin Laden, I believe there's about 500 to 800 in Southern California, and we were trying to reach these fellows through shock therapy through this movie to see if we could get one, two, five, or six of them to quit being so terrorist, and that was the whole intent. Did you, you were talking about uh, U.S. law, you know the Supreme Court says, uh, yeah, uh, free speech is absolutely protected in America, but you cannot yell, for example, fire in a crowded theater. In making this film, did you That's do the equivalent, did you, did you, did you, That's did you yell statement. fire That's in a crowded a theater statement. with this film? You must, if you're going to cite Shank versus the United States and Oliver Wendell Holmes, please, cited correctly. You left out a very pivotal word. What word did you leave out? Steve, I, I'm about done with this conversation with you. I, I, I really am. Um, Steve Klein is, I don't know if he's the filmmaker, if he's a supporter. Uh, I don't know if he put money into this, this project. Uh, Steve, do you want to answer any of those questions? All right, Steve Klein is gone.